Hey guys, this is going to be a follow-up video to the prior video that I did in response to Bionic Dance. Now, after watching her video for the second time and paying more attention to details, I've actually noticed that she's misusing the term straw man here, and I just wanted to point this out to her to let her know where she has some mistakes in her logic. From a strict dictionary perspective, let's look at this more practically. In other words, let's redefine the word until it means what you want it to mean. Doesn't work like that, pal. Uh-oh, straw man alert. Okay, now let's see later what the straw man he's using actually is, but besides that, you are doing exactly what you're accusing him of. You're defining atheism the way you want to, and you're using a strict definition of atheism, which is the opposite or dichotomy of theism, which it is not, and not all atheists agree with you on this definition, and you are using it for your own purposes, and you're re trying to redefine the word. Now, the word has several definitions that range from a disbelief in a god to um, non-belief in a god, or even other definitions. Try to look them up on Wikipedia, even though it isn't like the the most credible source for definitions. For example, let's look at the following question. How did the universe come into being? To this question, there are really just three possible answers. Actually, there's four, but we'll get to that in a bit. Number one, the universe was created by an intelligent, transcendent cause. If you're gonna say God done it, you gotta show me proof. Number two, the universe spontaneously popped into existence with no external cause. Which at the moment, given the evidence, seems most likely, but moving on. And number three, the universe is timeless and eternal, and therefore requires no cause. And you left that option number four, I don't know. Okay, now it's true that I don't know is an answer that you say when you don't know something. But what he's doing is trying to use rhetoric, and for that you don't know—you don't have to know something absolutely. You can still try to use reason to come to certain conclusions. So those three options sound completely reasonable when it comes to trying to find out how the how the universe was created. Answering "I don't know" doesn't provide any answer, or doesn't even try to attempt to answer that question. Now, theists obviously believe that possibility number one is the most probable explanation. Even though they have no evidence for it whatsoever and have to run on faith. You know, which sounds a lot to me like they're just playing a game of make-believe the way a child would. But eh. Hey. Do you have any um, conclusive, um, undeniable evidence that the universe um, was not created by a god? No. So, it's not like um, you need to provide the evidence because of the burden of, of proof thing, but when you're actually having a discussion, then no, you don't, have you don't have absolute evidence for your answer to that question either. So it can safely be said that theists believe in a creator, but it could also be said that theists do not believe in an uncaused universe, nor do they believe in an eternal universe. So there are really two ways of identifying a theist, by what he or she believes in, or by what he or she does not believe in. Well, here's another straw man, because that's not true at all. You okay, you guys can't see, but I'm face palming right now. Something not being true is not a straw man. A straw man is when somebody is taking your claim, your argument, dissecting it to make it into something completely different, defeat that fake argument which you never made to begin with, and then um, claims that he defeated your argument when he was actually defeating something that he, he made out of your argument. What he's doing, according to you, is wrong, but that still doesn't qualify as a straw man in any possible way. And besides, 
if you do look at his argument logically, it's logically sound. In fact, I think that I must agree with him on that. You can say that a theist is a non-believer in a non-created universe. That makes perfect sense and is logically sound. If he would decide to invent a definition to define, to define non-belief in a non-created universe, then that's what he would be.